Washington's financial crisis is contagious, and right now some of our nation's 50 states are on edge. Five of them have already gotten the warning. They're being threatened with a credit rating downgrade of their own. So is your state next. Joining us is Maryland's Governor Martin O'Malley. Nice to see you, Governor. Good, good to see you. Governor, I think we should probably start with you're one of the few states with a AAA, right? That's right. We're one of eight states that's made the tough decisions on cuts and revenues time and again to maintain a AAA bond rating. How long you had that? Is that a long-term thing with Maryland? It is a long-term thing with Maryland. You know, our state and also on the other side of the Potomac in Virginia, we've both been very fiscally disciplined, and it's something that Maryland is very, very proud of. I mean, we have the number one schools in America and a lot of other great things going for us, but we understand that fiscal responsibility is like maintaining the rudder of that that ship. And so that's what we've always done. Uh, it hasn't been easy these last few years. We've had to do unpopular things like raising the sales tax by a penny. But for that, you know, we have a very good quality of life and an innovation economy that's well poised to create jobs in this new uh, changing world of ours. Okay, so now though you've been, th you've been, I don't know if the word threat is, but uh, at least you've been put on notice you could lose that AAA, right? That's right. You know, this is, uh, this is sort of whiplash month for us. We were, we had our AAA bond rating affirmed, and then we were told because of the uh, dysfunction and, and uh, with the extremists and the Republican Party in Congress that we might have our... There's, there's another view on that, by the way. You know I that. Know. You know, there's a different view than that. Oh, I was hearing it from, okay. uh, know, the, uh, uh, from the gentleman that was in front of me, and I used that You know, that acrimony, is the thing, that acrimony is the thing the American people are complaining about. You know what else they're complaining about? They're complaining that we're not focused on job creation, and that's the problem here. You know, this deficit is a self-inflicted wound. 55% of the deficit is caused by Bush era tax cuts that primarily benefited the most. And the, the other 45%? Wealthy. Well, the other 40, 13% of it is two wars that the president. And who uh, gets president giving that Bush to President Bush, too? I am. Okay. And uh, in fact, had those wars had to be. I don't know. You know, I don't. I mean, like, it's like I, I don't want to get into a, a sort of a whole match. No, it's on not that. about I history. Really, I, it's I, about the future. Greta, all right. Yeah, I'm actually right. sort of trying to understand the problem. Is that? Uh, and so let me let me get, let's get beyond that. But I'm curious. Is that? Is the reason that you are semi-threatened with your credit because of the <coughs> interdependence of states and federal? Is that right? I mean, you you get all every state gets federal money. Well, the reason we're threatened is because we're all part of this country. This big pie. Right. So, I mean, I would argue to Moody's and Standard and & Poor's and the others that states with lower bond ratings are even more threatened than ours. One of the unique things except is they look that, at... Except that, I mean, even if they are more threatened, the fact is, is that if you go from AAA down, that's going to raise your interest costs. Right. And you've got a $5 billion bond, over the, $50 billion bonds or something over the next five years scheduled, so it's going to cost you $50 million if you lose if you lose a bond rating one step. Right, that's part of it. The good which news is horrible, for us, which is horrible. The good news for us is about 10 days before this uh, vote to avoid the default, we went out into the bond market. And because of our AAA bond rating, because we've brought people together, Democrats and Republicans, to make the tough decisions, we actually got a very good rate. We got 3.07%, so which is very you're good. So you're shrewd and you're smart on, on this. Well, we have to go back out in February, though. But here's the other side. Look, there's, there's two ways that we can kill this fragile jobs recovery. One is to needlessly drive the country into default, which fortunately we avoided. Except that, let me just say that. But I mean, the yes, other it, way it was is avoided, into but massive public sector cuts. I mean, look at the job creation over the last several months. I, I, Private you know sector's been creating jobs. Public no, sector's second, been second. shedding jobs. Oh, wait, let's stop for a second. I mean, I, I don't agree with you. I, mean, I think the stimulus bill has not created the jobs we wanted. I travel across the United States all the time. I see an awful lot of employment. You may be lucky. You've got a really rich state. You've got a lot of federal employees who live in no, Maryland. That's not what I, that's not what I said. Okay. I think the stimulus did save and create some jobs. It wasn't able to go not, far enough. There are what I was talking hurting. about, though, were the, the fact that we are running in place here on this jobs recovery because even though the private sector has created more jobs over the last year, the public sector has wiped out those gains. And that's the balance that we need to get back to. That we should more public jobs? No, we have to recognize that the government, our federal government, also plays a role in job creation. I mean, businesses can't create jobs unless America's government is doing its job. What do you want the government to do? I want to, I want our government to do what we've done in the past. But like we, which we, we, is, which is make, what? Spend more? Spend? Do another stimulus bill? No, I want us. Well, in part, I want us to. Yes, 
I want a balanced but, but, approach. But, but we did one February online. The cuts, it's, been a, it's been a disaster. I mean, like, I said, how, argue, no, when do we go to been, Plan B? Greta, it hasn't been a disaster. It hasn't. If you go across the country, we've got a 9.2% unemployment rate still. I don't we've argue got, with you. I don't argue I that mean, at people all. People are hurting across the, the country. It is a lie to say that this has been a success for people. No, it's, it's not a lie to say that we would be in a second Great Depression right now That's had what, the president who knows? not I mean, acted. May, maybe if he'd acted differently, we'd be in a better situation. I don't know. I can only tell you what I can tell you the plan we're operating under, and I can tell you what the numbers are now, and I can tell you people right. are hurting. We're not so creating we need enough different. jobs. We're not creating enough jobs. Tom Friedman, Tom Friedman, great Marylander. Tom Friedman says that there are five things that we need to get back to in this public private partnership that is the United States of America. One of them is investing in education. Another one is a rational immigration policy. Another one is investments in infrastructure, the bridges, the roads, the uh, cyber infrastructure that makes you know our what? economy I, go. I, Another one is some in basic investments in R&D. And the fifth one is the one that's at jeopardy now because of Tea Party extremists that have taken over the one proud party of Lincoln and that is a balanced rational and predictable rule of law we need to get back to it as a country to allow millionaires and billionaires to continue to enjoy tax uh, windfalls that we can't afford as a nation is ridiculous it is a self-inflicted wound governor, here governor, and we need to get back to a balanced approach governor that creates you, know, jobs. you know I like you very much but that was not much of a discussion but it was rather a nice speech uh, that I've heard many times before. I thought it was a good discussion it was a good speech. you're my anyway, favorite person on Fox and you know what I like your wife very much and You're I like you, Governor, but uh, we'll, we need to discuss this more later. Nice I look to forward see you. to it. Longer segment <laughs> next Indeed. time. Indeed. Thank Thanks. you.